fabric consists of four components. There are nodes, there is the interconnect, there's the director, and there's services. Let's start with nodes. Well, nodes form the relatively high function exterior part of QFabric. That's where all the work of forwarding happens. Uh, these are the calculations where when packets come in to QFabric, the decision gets made once and only once to figure out where this packet is supposed to be sent. The interconnect, which is the next thing we want to talk about, it's simply a set of logical wires. The interconnect simply allows, it connects these nodes together to actually carry the packets from one place to the other place. Now what's this thing called the director? It turns out that one of the key properties of QFabric is its ability to scale. Uh, and by, by its ability to scale, what we mean is that you can do small implementations of QFabric where the number of interfaces is small. You can do medium-sized implementations, and then you can do very large-scale implementations. In order to provide that scalability, what you need to do is take the implementation of QFabric and present it, present both the control plane and the data plane of QFabric through a single pane of glass. So a single control point. So the director is the set of technologies that allow QFabric to be viewed as a single logical device. That's, that's the function of the director. We're terming the work that gets done between layers four and seven services. And the way that services get incorporated, they're built in fundamentally into